Welcome to the Monitoring the Future video tutorial, Introduction to the Monitoring the Future study. From this tutorial, you will learn a history of Monitoring the Future, MTF, followed by study design and topics. Finally, you will learn specific terminology used in the MTF study. MTF is the longest continually conducted survey of substance use among youth and adults in the United States. MTF first started in 1975 to study changes in behaviors, attitudes, and values of youth and young people in the United States. The original youth sample has been longitudinally followed, and now the MTF study includes substance use, public opinion, behaviors, and other key life course events throughout the entire adult life course. With more than 50 years of annual and longitudinal data, the MTF study provides insights into the epidemiology, etiology, and life course history of substance use and relevant behaviors, attitudes, and other factors. The MTF study has been carried out each year since 1975 by the Survey Research Center, part of the Institute for Social Research at the University of Michigan. The MTF study has been conducted under a series of research grants from the National Institute on Drug Abuse, the National Institutes of Health. Next, let's look closely at the MTF study design. MTF includes two studies. First, the MTF main study is cross-sectional adolescent surveys, which includes 8th, 10th, and 12th grade students. Next, the MTF panel study is the longitudinal follow-up studies of selected individuals from the 12th grade adolescent surveys. The panel study consists of young adult surveys and middle and older adult surveys. For the MTF main study, every year approximately 10,000 8th, 10th, and 12th grade students are surveyed. These students come from approximately 100 schools for each grade. Separate samples are pulled for each grade, and each sample is nationally representative. A multi-stage random sampling procedure is used to secure the nationwide sample of students each year at each grade level. The sampling procedure incorporates geographic areas, schools, and students within schools. The MTF main study began with 12th grade students in 1975. Starting in 1991, Similar surveys of 8th and 10th graders have been conducted annually. As of 2024, the MTF main study has 50 years of cross-sectional data for more than 1.7 million students. The MTF panel study extends the work of the MTF main school-based surveys by following a subsample of each 12th grade cohort across the life course. The final year of high school is a key moment in the transition from adolescence to adulthood and is the final point at which a reasonably good national sample of an age-specific cohort can be drawn from schools. This makes it a key base year for longitudinal surveys. Beginning with the class of 1976, a subsample of around 2,400 graduating high school seniors are randomly selected every year. Each cohort's follow-up sample is split into two random subsamples that are surveyed in alternate years. One subsample starts their surveys at age 19, one year after leaving high school. The second subsample starts their post-high school surveys at age 20, two years after leaving high school. For young adult surveys, the subsamples are then surveyed every other year such that those who started at age 19 are again surveyed when they are 21, 23, 25, 27, and 29. Those who started their post-high school surveys at age 20 are surveyed again at ages 22, 24, 26, 28, and 30. For middle and older adult surveys, the panel participants are surveyed every five years beginning at age 35. The first age 65 survey was conducted in 2023 for the oldest cohort, who were high school seniors in 1976. Every year a new cohort of respondents is added to the panel study. This means that not only is the panel study longitudinal, that is, following respondents across adulthood, but it also provides a series of cross-sectional surveys by age groups. 
Using the MTF data, researchers are able to examine, for example, behavioral change across historical time in consistent age segments of the adult life course and key subgroups. Researchers can also examine changes linked to different types of environments, such as high school, college, employment, or role transitions like marriage and parenthood. As of 2024, the MTF panel study includes five decades of longitudinal data from more than 120,000 individuals up to age 65. The MTF study covers a variety of topics over historical time and throughout individuals' life courses. Substance use includes alcohol, tobacco, and cannabis use in different reporting intervals such as lifetime, in the past 12 months, and in the past 30 days. Questions related to vaping were added in 2017. Other illicit substances include inhalants, hallucinogens, cocaine, heroin, and over-the-counter substances. The MTF study also includes various measures related to attitudes, beliefs, and early experiences of substance use. This includes age at first use, non-continuation use, beliefs or attitudes about specific substances, and perceptions of substance use. Demographic and individual characteristics are included, as well as high school experiences such as average GPA, days truant, and intentions for attending college. Examples of other topics are public opinions about government, pollution and environment, sex roles and family-related issues, discrimination, and caregiving burdens. Personality variables include attitudes about oneself, self-esteem, loneliness, risk-taking, trust in others, and boredom. MTF questionnaires include a variety of topics with many survey questions. To help make the surveys more manageable to take, much of the content is divided into several different questionnaire forms and randomly distributed to participants. Each form consists of key or core variables that are common to all forms. Examples include demographic variables and key substance use variables. Form-specific variables are those asked on single or multiple forms, but not on all forms. The 12th grade survey started with five forms, and in 1989 one additional form was added. The 8th and 10th grades started with two forms in 1991, and two more were added in 1997. As of 2024, the 12th grade surveys include six forms and the 8th and 10th grade surveys include four forms. For young adult surveys, there are six forms of the survey. Respondents are given the same form of the survey that they completed in 12th grade. Beginning at age 35 for middle and older adult surveys, one form is distributed for each age. Understanding MTF-specific terminology will be helpful to use the MTF data for your research. The MTF main study includes 8th, 10th, and 12th grade surveys. 8th and 10th grade data is called BX. 12th grade data is called BY. The follow-up surveys for young adults are called FU. FU surveys include data from age 19 to 30. Surveys for middle and older adults are called FZ. This is the data collected starting at age 35 and continuing every five years. The latest data includes age 65 in 2023. Triplet indicates three different reporting intervals of substance use in MTF. For most of the MTF surveys, triplet refers to substance use over a lifetime, in the past 12 months, and past 30 days. For middle and older adult surveys, triplet indicates the use of substances in the past five years, 12 months, and past 30 days. Earlier in this tutorial, we explained that many questions are divided into different survey forms. Core variables refer to the variables available to all forms, while form-specific variables indicate those only available on specific forms. For additional information about the MTF study, please visit the MTF website. MTF data are available at the National Addiction and HIV Data Archive Program, NADAP. Check their websites for the MTF main public use data, MTF main restricted use data, and MTF panel data. Please also stay tuned for additional tutorial videos. This ends the web tutorial providing a general overview of the MTF study. This tutorial was produced at the University of Michigan with funding from the National Institute on Drug Abuse. Voice recording was made by John Meerdink at ISR Communications. Please send comments and questions to mtfinformation at umich.edu.